Guess who went boot shopping? This guy. Before we get into talking about boot shopping at a used boot store, I got my first call in from the number that I left at the end of the last video. Now, thank you so much to Mr. Phil Kim for calling in and leaving me a message. Here is his message about why he loves boots so much. Take it away, Phil. Hey, Jeremiah, it's Phil Kim calling. I just uh, leaving a message because I love cowboy boots just like you. I've been wearing them since I was in my 20s, since I was in college. Uh, there was periods of time where I stopped wearing them, even given, given them away for a while, and then started wearing them back again about 10 years ago. I currently own three pairs. I've owned, uh, I've given away several pairs to very close friends of mine who also love cowboy boots like you and I do. Uh, it's just everything you said, like, you know, it's uh, the style, the confidence, and um, masculinity that uh, every guy exudes when they wear a pair of boots in public. Uh, and I plan on building up my collection. Uh, so three right now. Uh, I highly recommend a brand out of Austin, Texas called Albie's Boots. They make really good boots, and they're a great price. Uh, comparable to Luke Casey, except only half the price because they sell directly to the public. So go there uh, and check them out. That's A-L-V-I-E-S dot com. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love it. Thank you so much for the call, Phil. I really like that part where you're talking about how cowboy boots help you exude masculinity. I love it. I completely agree. I have to also say that when my fiance wears her boots around, she exudes a lot of femininity when she wears her cowboy boots. So I think that it really helps us exude our true selves. Cowboy boots are just great like that. So thank you so much for your call, Phil. Now, speaking of my fiance, last weekend, she went to a used boot store here in Seattle called Gold Dogs. And she went in and she texted me from the store. She's like, man, I really want to try on some of these boots, but my friends, they weren't really interested, and we left right away. Now I wanna try on boots. And I said, well, I'm not gonna argue with that. Let's go this weekend. So we did. We headed on over to Gold Dogs last weekend and just had a hell of a time trying on boots, right? And it's not often that I get to try on a lot of boots because there aren't that many boot stores in Seattle. But Gold Dogs is a nice one, and they have used boots there. And if you've ever been to a used boot store, you know it can be hit or miss. You can have a really good day and find a lot of good boots that fit you or that are broken into the way that you like to wear boots and that fits your foot. Uh, and other times, that doesn't quite hit. And there's a lot of times when the boots that you try on don't work and even though you might find a pair that you absolutely love they might just be a little bit too tight or the size might not be right so you're out of luck because that's the only size that they have which definitely happened to me it happened to me twice last weekend i first found a pair of dan posts they were a beautiful black cherry color, and I've been wanting to add a black cherry pair of boots to my collection for a while. So I honed in on those right away, went, picked them up, and then I tried them on. Okay, so I have these on right now, and it's a little weird because the left foot feels looser than the right foot, and I don't know if that's my left foot that's so much smaller, or if the previous owner, since this is a used boot shop, if the previous owner had just a larger left foot, but yeah, that left foot is much more broken in than the right. I don't know, it just feels weird. It's just a little tight, I can't do it. I can't do this one. It was close, but no cigar. I don't know what the deal was. Maybe my foot's weird, I don't know, but uh, the one foot just didn't feel right. Next, I found a pair of gray Nikoas. Now, I don't have a pair of gray boots either, and I thought that would be a really cool thing to add because it's a really classy color that goes with a lot of different styles, right? It can go with jeans, it can be, go with dress pants. There's a lot of different things that you 
can seemingly do with gray boots. I don't know, I've never had them, but I found a pair of gray Nikoas, so here are those gray Nikoas. All right, we got these gray Nikoas. I like the look, but how they feel, they slip at the heel. They're slipping at the heel. They look good. I like the look, but I'm not feeling it. So I was 0 for 2. I wasn't feeling pretty confident in the next choice. I found a pair of ostrich boots, white ones. Now I already knew that they were too big, but I've been wanting ostrich boots for a really long time. So I tried them on just for shits and giggles. Of course they were too big. I didn't even bother taking footage of it because I knew that they were gonna be too big. I was pretty much just torturing myself. And then I was 0 for 3. So I started walking around the store, you know, checking on my fiance to see what she got. She didn't have any luck either. And then we found this one corner of the store where there were a few extra boots. And I came across these fry boots. And here's what happened. They were a nice suede boot. I found these fry suede boots, but I'm not sure. See, they fit really nice. It feels good. I'm sort of having that experience that I was talking about, but they're 200 bucks and they're used. I'm not sure I'm feeling it that much. I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. All right, so these boots right here are 50% off, the suede fries. So, I mean, it said 200 bucks and 50% off would be 100 bucks, and I think that's a pretty good deal for these babies. I think I might have just added to the collection, guys. I think I might do it. Yep, I left with those fry boots. I really liked the feel of them. You know, they're not cowboy boots technically because they do have the shorter heel, right? Uh, they are, they do have the shorter shaft here. Technically they're not cowboy boots, but they did feel really well on my foot and they have a nice suede leather. So uh, fry, they are fry makes. They are also a half size bigger than what I usually run. Usually I run 10 and a half for boots. These are 11s, and from talking with some of you folks on Instagram, uh, that's pretty much the norm for Fry. So I really enjoy these boots. I like the shorter heel. It's taking a little bit to get used to the shorter heel, to be honest. It feels much, uh, much lower to the ground for sure, even though, what, it's only a half an inch? less than what I'm used to. Uh, it, it does make a big difference for me, but they are really comfortable. They are a heavy pair, but I do, I do enjoy them. They are a very nice boot, and I'm looking forward to wearing them on every week, just putting them in the rotation, right? I mean, uh, it seems like a good one to have, especially with the rubber soles. I mean, I, I like the rubber soles of the Abilene's that I have, and now I got some fries with some rubber soles, so I'll be able to share the love. All right, everybody, remember that if you want to be on the next video, if you want to leave me a message, I think that would be great. The number, again, is right here. Like, comment, and subscribe this video. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. This is Jeremiah Craig. I'm out. Welcome to the family fry, yes we welcome you home Adopted from the used boot store, you'll never be alone And when I first tried you on, how our future shone So bright, 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 bright Yes we welcome you home <laughs>